Okay, that's why a couple minutes late because I read here the Mad Dog's communication. Very, very interesting. Today we're going to see uh, <clears throat> a deal, not for YouTube, but we're going to see a deal that um, started and ended pretty dramatically. Uh, today we see the first part of it. Um, and as I said before we left for lunch, um, it's for a, we use it as a benchmark, uh, for, if you will. <clears throat> Again, remembering that I've been doing this since Moses, but uh, it will give you something to uh, print in your brain. And as um, Weed Man, my other Weed Man from the other hardcore, said, uh, uh, this isn't how he looks, but, hey, man, I call him, you know, he's really quite intelligent. Hey, man, I uh, seen this, believe in it, you know? <laughs> he's a good kid. That's a good impression of all industry, basically. Yeah, well, yeah, well, <laughs> he's, got, he's got some interesting stories, which I, I'm sure you can relate to most of them, because that's the industry you're from, uh, or in, currently. Uh, we, we take them all. We take them, the only thing we don't take, we don't take uh, pedophiles, we don't take... Uh, Obvious transvestites, uh, you can do whatever you want, I don't care, but you just can't be, you know, grabbing onto people and shit like that um, during my seminars. Uh, but we don't take pedophiles under any circumstance, whether that's your predilection or not. But the, um, I tell the story uh, many years ago, I hired a guy, I went through all the normal or best practices for hiring through headhunters, one of the biggest headhunting firms in the world. And uh, we hired a guy as a CEO, and we went down to, uh, to um, um, and he came in, and he, he, he passed all the, all the colors, all, all the tests, I should say. And then I told Sally, uh, there's something, and we had been asked by a big bank to take over this company. Okay. And that's how I got in the net scum business, the internet business, because a big Chicago bank. <clears throat> and uh, but there was something that you know, even though he had passed all of the tests and clicked all the boxes, and we went to one of the best, uh, biggest headhunting firms in the world. There was something that, but I said, oh, maybe I'm wrong this time because I'm not right 100 percent of the time, almost. Not. And then somehow it came out, and we found out that this guy was a first-class pedophile with his own island. What's that noise I hear? Shut up! <laughs> Fucking Polak. Anyway, and um, and uh, other than me feeling stupid, that my gut instinct, which is a ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of the time right, I said, well, we wait, and, and I spent a lot of money on the headhunter. Well, maybe I'm wrong. That's the last time I let my gut instinct go by without doing it, without pulling the trigger. And so we, uh, we, uh, I called a couple of the directors. We had a quick meeting, um, and um, we called the guy in, and we fired him on the spot. I did, on the spot. And the, uh, and the other two board members, I mean, were really, that had grandchildren and shit like that, were really aggressive about it. You know, they wanted to do more than just fire the asshole. And um, he went. And then as it, it came out, and uh, we found out more and more, and then they send us his, uh, his videos, and uh, he sent us videos, and his, his uh, they didn't have podcasts then, but his, his um, video that he sends people, parents, to send the kids to him. I mean, it got uglier and uglier and uglier. So now, by this time, I wanted to kill him too, you know. But he, he slipped out of town by this time. And um, so, but if you're other than that, we take everybody. Other than that, and uh, Sally remembers it. Sally, I, I, I don't lose my time. I sound loud, but I don't lose my temper often. But when I do, it's fucking violent. And so, uh, then he sued us. 
for uh, wrongful prosecution or some shit. Because we didn't give him due process. That's it, due process. We didn't give the co- I, I, I don't want to say cocksucker. I mean, we didn't give the shit ass uh, uh, due process. Because we didn't. We didn't really. We didn't, as they say in Scotland. But I said, I would gladly stand in, fucking, in front of a judge or, or, and or a fucking jury, and we'll see if I get fucking thrown in jail over this. Well, the, um, uh, I didn't have to, and finally he went away. But there was a chance that the, uh, we would have to pay up big money because we didn't give him due process. That was the beginning of how fucked up the world is. Now, I don't know what would have happened. He probably would have clipped me for five million bucks or something, or 10 million bucks. But that's how I got in the net scum business. That's how I got in the net scum business, because a bank asked Sally and me, the guts were good to go down and, and, and bail him out of a deal. And, uh, and lo and behold, 20 years later or thereabouts, here I am, the father of net scummers, the mentor of net scummers, net scummers that are uh, riding through the uh, cyberspace like the fifth horseman of the net scum apocalypse. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Um, the, we've been talking about, before we broke for lunch, people that have made sacrifices um, and uh, not complained about um, the stuff that uh, you guys complain about. And I showed you another, no, no, I, uh, we want to go the other way. See, where is it? Come on in, come on in. Okay. No, I guess I didn't ask Oh, God. Now, nobody has problems like that. And we've had some people, not that looks like this, but close. And what do you, what, what do you say? Other than, you know, what do you say? God must have some mission for you. I, I don't know what you say. Maybe some, maybe some of you, maybe the God botherers in the room uh, can come up with what you say. There's nothing you can say. No mathematician. I mean, you, there's nothing you can say. But people come like this to me, and uh, we we try to set up a seminar for somebody that was um, uh, in a respirator once. Respirator is a machine to keep you breathing. And uh, we couldn't make it happen. I mean, we tried very hard. Uh, uh, you don't have problems, kids. You don't. Now, I'm going to get all misty-eyed when I say this story. Where's my book? We, don't, we only have the Russian copy. I used to sign books back in the days when I sold them. This is the new Russian copy that you get free on my site. Okay. And there's a big long line of kids waiting for me to sign books. It was my first, last, and only book signing. You don't know what it's like to sign 500 fucking books and try to say something original every time. So about 100 to 125, I look down the line and I see a guy in a wheelchair with a, a portable respirator on him. Portable. And two nurses. So I asked my guy that I'm with, I said, what's with the guy? And he says, oh, he, he, he wants you to sign the book. It's really important to him. So every person that came closer won, and then pretty 40, then 50. I'm thinking, what am I going to write to this guy? And then I got a piece of paper, a note, from the guy's nurse, doctor. I start crying. He wants to read the book. His only goal is to read the book before he dies. What am I going to say? What the fuck can you say? The only goal he had is to read the fucking book before he dies. Finish it. What do you say, Fiddler? And we get these all the time. So when I look at you, Relatively healthy, relatively sane, relative is the operative word. <laughs> and I see, and I look back at the Scots in the room, 
because I've lived here a long time. I mean, and, uh, you know, you guys have no problems. There's no reason why you can't do this. So he gets up in the respirator. I couldn't look at him in the eye. I just couldn't. And then finally, I look up. And he's, ah. Uh, and so I sign. I sign something, I think, poetic. And um, he read the book day and night until he died about three, four days later. And then they wanted to know if I wanted the book back. I said, no, I don't want the book back. <laughs> Please. And in those days, the book was 500 bucks. Now, if I had known, I, I mean, I would have given the guy the book. I don't, you know, and now we don't sell the book, although it's on YouTube. I've seen for as high as $9,000. $9,000. Um, but we don't sell the book anymore. Uh, you're going to get a copy of the book before you leave. Uh, and for a time, we didn't give away the book in the seminar because um, kids were dropping out of the program or putting it on YouTube for five grand or three grand or whatever they were selling it for. But now we're, we're, we're giving the book as one of the, you're going to get a bunch of gifts when you leave. Uh, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to tell you that, but anyway, a bunch of gifts. Mo whiskey, our own with Gulf Week whiskey, amongst a few other things, and the book and um, some other stuff. So I, went, I, I was sitting there looking at emails today, and we had a couple of really sad stories. It made me think of the book. It made me think of this. And it made me think that there's nothing wrong with you guys. Now, arguably, Fiddler... It, <laughs> make sure you get a shot of Fiddler on the roof here. Arguably, <laughs> arguably, he's relatively okay. He's sane, kind of. Okay, kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of, kind of. but I mean, and and he's too fucking smart for his own good, and but I mean, but you're there's nothing wrong with you guys, I relatively speaking, there's nothing wrong with you guys, and there's no reason you can't. There's no reason. So when I have no empathy and sympathy for you, when you write me these fucking weekly reports, remember that picture. Remember the guy in the respirator in the wheelchair, and even remember Fiddler on the roof here. But there's nothing. That can, uh, that can keep you, other than what's between your ears, from accomplishing this. There's nothing. And uh, I told the kids um, <coughs> on the YouTube the same thing. And, and, the, uh, and the big charge I get is when one of you lays the wood on the ball and knocks it out of the park. I mean, I get off on that. And then, you know, and then I brag about it and and like we're going to show you this video in a couple of minutes, uh, which wasn't planned, it just happened. But I mean, it's my joy in this is for your victories now. And, but me wanting your victories more than you wanting your victories, something's not right about that. And, um, but you can do it and you will do it. Uh, the challenge you'll have when you get out of here uh, in a few days is that people slow down in December uh, it's one of the great gripes of my, you know, pains in my ass for the last 50 years. But anyway, thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube.